What's poppin' you two Funko Fanatic Dags back again? I'm decked out in my Game of Thrones because I was just at Philly Wizard World Comic Con. The uh, girlfriend's over here, so if you hear noises, that's her. She doesn't want to be in the video, but it's all good. So we just got back from Philly Wizard World. It's my first year going. Definitely going to go back uh, for autographs and whatever next year when they announce the lineup and stuff. But I just want to show you what I got and... Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you what, I, what some of the things I picked up. Didn't go too crazy. And I'm going to do a separate video for um, this thing I'm going to show you in this video. But we'll get there. So, it was a lot of fun. So, just to start with some freebies. We got a... Uh, we spun a wheel. We got a Rampage poster. Uh, and we got a... Ocean's 8 poster. So, I did not see Rampage. Honestly, I did not see it yet. And Ocean's 8 didn't come out yet. Oh, June 8th. So this is coming out really soon here after Memorial Day weekend. So uh, if I don't have anything else to see, maybe I'll go see it. Um, okay. Let's start now. Uh, oh, some more freebies. Uh, they had a lot of promotion for the new movie. This one I'm actually going to see. Um, the Meg. Uh, if you don't know, it's a really cool trailer. It's a shark movie and this is a bottle opener. We took a picture and like... It was like a fake shark coming out, and the floor was like the ocean. We had like rafts. Um, really cool uh, picture we got. And then after the picture, we got the uh, shark Meg, uh, Meg shark uh, bottle opener. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that I like that. And then uh, Disney had a booth there uh, just for the Solo Star Wars story because that comes out uh, Thursday. And um, we had a challenge. You had to run around the uh, Philadelphia Convention Center. <laughs> And find six solo posters, uh, one of you know, every character. Take a picture, come back, and if you do so, you get a um, pin. So uh, the one I got was uh, Han. And I do collect pins. It's my pin board here. Right here. Uh, I got Han. It's pretty cool. And these were free. And then the girlfriend got me uh, Lando. They had one more. You could have got Amelia Clark's character, but... Han and Lando go back to the original trilogy, so I had to go with those two. Although I'm really excited for Amelia Clark's character because I love her. Um, two more things. Uh, I didn't know this pop went so much up in value. Um, I kept putting this one off, putting this one off, because I have a newer uh, variant of this character. And I looked on like eBay and Amazon. It's like selling for over $20, and it got vaulted in November of 2017. So I said, you know what? Let me pick it up now before it skyrockets like Sansa, Marjorie, and all those, Odor and all that stuff. So I finally picked up uh, 18 bucks, which is not too bad. It's less than what it, um, I saw online. And it's the original long hair Cersei. So this one's really cool. Um, I do have the short hair Cersei with the crown for when she took the throne, but I did not have this one. So uh, this is definitely a cool one to have. Number 11, it's from edition 2. And all these back here... The Jon Snow is not worth a lot. Rob is worth a lot. Arya is not worth a lot. That Jamie's worth a lot. And then Renly's insane. So, yeah, this is from an older, a much, yeah, uh, 2015. So, this is much older. The box is really good. And, uh, yeah, happy to add um, the original Cersei to my collection. Okay. Next up, and I'm going to do a separate video on this. Um, just because I wanted to give it its own spotlight. There was a company there called um, Underground Realm. Uh, they're based out of New York. White Plains, New York. Oh, sorry. Undiscovered Realm. And they had a mystery bag there. And I just picked one off the top. I didn't know. You know they had a hundred of them. <laughs> Only a hundred of them. They had a lot left, though. So, what's in this bag? Uh, this was $30. It was like $32 plus tax. So, not too expensive. And you're guaranteed three pops, and one is guaranteed to be an exclusive or a chase. So I'm thinking, even if it was three commons, commons are like ten bucks. Th I mean, I might not be something I collect, but three commons for thirty dollars, you're not getting screwed over. You know, that's the price that it is, ten dollars. So you're getting your value here, um, and a mystery fun. So this is gonna I'm gonna do a video right after this one to film this, and I'll post that. So 
Oh, and they gave me a raffle ticket. Next week, they're going to have a raffle. Um, and you can win stuff, including the blue chrome Batman. So, you know, it's worth a, a raffle entry, too. So, um, and I assume it's a hundred people in it. So, that's not, you know, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, um, that was the mystery bag. So, not bad. It's not like I see people buy the, uh, Toy USA for 250 and then you're guaranteed to get 125 back in value. So, only half your value with this comments or 10 bucks i'm gonna it'll be fine even something i don't like so that should be fun and last but not least definitely not least the thing i'm most excited for was i got an autograph this is now out of all of the pops in my collection this is my most cherished one and this was signed i met natalie dormer and uh she signed this i went with the autograph instead of the picture so, you guys could see she wrote to Anthony at the top, and then she signed her name here, uh, her autograph here. Uh, and I got the uh, Certificate of Authenticity, so a little Wizard World sticker, and then it came with the cert, Natalie Dormer, and then the sticker here, and the uh, authentication date, where at, Wizard World Philly, Natalie Dormer, and the serial number right there. So, really happy to have this, and... Just this pop itself, not signed, is worth, I think, like, 45 on uh, Stashpedia right now. So, um, it's vaulted. It's old. Uh, I bought it old. It has some, you know, a little bit of box damage. But uh, I got it in a stack one last time to see the auto there to Anthony at the top. And then her auto here. So that was really cool. Meeting her was fun. Uh, I was nervous. Um... But I said, uh, I asked, I said, so how does it all end? And she said, I know how it ends, but you don't. So she does know how Game of Thrones ends, but she did say she doesn't know how it arrives to that ending. So she's going to be watching the news when the finally the last, what is it, six episodes come on next year um, to see how the ending is. But she knows what happens in the end. Like, I guess she knows. You know, the Night King dies, or John and Danny, I, whatever, whatever happens, she knows what happens. So, that was cool talking to her, have a conversation. Um, I do like the autograph aspect of it, rather than the photo. The uh, I did get a photo before with John Carpenter in my Monster Mania video. And you don't really get to talk to him. Like, you go up, you get your picture, and then, like, you walk away. It's real quick. Um, the autograph, they, you know, they have to sign it, and you have a little bit more time for conversation. And it's up to the celebrity whether or not they want to um, take selfies because uh, some don't allow it at all. So uh, Natalie Dormer, unfortunately, didn't allow it. Some people will let you do it for free and then some will let you do it, but they charge you for it. So I guess it all depends on the celebrity and their agent or whatever they decide. But yeah, so that was my day at Wizard World. A lot of fun. Definitely going to go back next year. Um, Sean Bean was there. And uh, Jason Momoa, Cal Drogo were there. And if they're back next year, I'm going to go get them their autograph. Um, a lot of other actors were there. A lot of Lord of the Rings guys like Elijah Wood, Sean Astin, uh, Billy Boyd. Um, the big one was uh, Sebastian Stan, the Winter Soldier. Uh, everyone was going crazy for his uh, autograph and photos and things like that. So real quick, what I got again, I got the mystery bag, which that video is going to be, if you didn't watch it, it's going to be, Next video on my channel. Stay tuned for that. That's going to be fun. The Voltit original Cersei Lannister pop. The, uh, where did I put it? The two solo pins that we won. And the Meg keychain. Excited for that shark movie. And then, of course, my most cherished pop. The Natalie Dormer autograph. Uh, Marjorie Tyrell Funko pop. So, um... Yeah, she was awesome. It was great. Really, really happy to have this. Sorry, guys. I'm really excited. So, guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know down below what you think about what I picked up. Did you guys... Uh, are you guys going to a uh, convention this summer? Uh, if so, who, which uh, celebrity are you going to... Are going to get an autograph, a picture? Let me know. I'm real curious. I know my buddy at It's a Pop Thing. Uh, he went to a Comic-Con in Indianapolis like, a couple months ago or last month. And, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, this was a Wizard World, and actually for the first time ever, Reed Pop, who does the Funko uh, Emerald City 
City Comic Con and the Funko New York City Comic Con. They're actually coming to Philly for the first time in September, and it's going to be called Keystone Comic Con. It's, it's going to be a lot smaller, obviously, because it's their first time coming to Philly. Uh, Reed Pop's the company that organizes it. So I may go to that in September. Um, I, I haven't seen any big uh, celebrities that have caught my eye. Um, I know that um, the guy who did the uh, Dark Knight uh, comic book is going to be there. Um, Frank Miller. Frank Miller is going to be there. Um, but none of the uh, Game of Thrones people yet or anything like that. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. But I may go to that depending on you know some announcements they have. But this was a lot of fun. So guys, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you on the next hunt.